Well, that's wonderful to know, James, and I'm glad that we got to show you your second favorite animal on Juman. But we're back with young Shongile, who, well, hasn't really done much, unfortunately. She sort of stayed in the same position the entire time, apart from the odd head shake and tail flick. Ah, big yawn and a stretch. Life is tough, hey, young lady, as you wait for Mom to bring you back something to eat. Now, I didn't hear anything more about Karula, but um, I'm sure that she is off, and especially in this weather. It's good hunting weather for the leopards, so I'm sure she'll be utilizing her time wisely. And with all of this wind and rain, like I said earlier, it muffles sound, so it'll be much easier to catch an impala on a day like today. Though, you might find that the impala will be a little bit more alert. But the upper hand that the leopards will have is that all the animals are going to move out to the open areas and into sort of more a denser a vegetated areas just to keep out of the, the wind. And when the rain does come pelting down, which it hasn't yet, it also provides a little bit of shelter uh, from getting wet. And of course, leopards love to hunt in the thick stuff. They are specialists. Well, they actually just adapt anywhere, really. They've got the most amazing camouflage to help them blend into any situation. I suppose they've got a couple of things on their side.